home, we use the dashing brush for kalalo. We would um, boil it and crush it up and then add your meat and your food and so to it. And it comes very green and creamy. Oh my God, something to die for. <laughs> Hi family. Today we are making kalalo soup. Vinci style. Oh. I have one of my subscribers that order that and I <laughs> make it my business to make sure I do it for her. With pigtail, some beef and some smoked turkey. That's the meat. The food part is dashing, tanya and potatoes and dumplings. Oh, that's why that um, pot is so big back yeah. there. <laughs> she always tell me don't cook such a big pot but I have to have the room for it to have the sauce. At home in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we, we had a farm. So we used to plant dashing and edos and everything like that. So we would get the middle of the dashing bush and clean it and boil it and crush it and then put whatever meat and whatever food you want to put in it. Here it's very hard to find those things. I'm in Texas, never saw those things. Right. In New York we used to get it but not the same either. Right. I used to cook it and blend it and then it get creamy and you make the soup with it. Right. So I'm going to try something new today because it says Kalalu but I'm not sure if that's what, what, what bush it is honestly. And I know that Jamaicans used to make it and call it a Kalalu soup. So I'm going to try it today to make a soup of it. I buy the smoked turkey, I have pigtail and I put a piece of beef in it also. Mm -hmm. And that's the soup I'm going to do today. Angela Williams, ma'am, you are starting trouble here. <laughs> Our mouth has been watering ever since you mentioned that you wanted pigtail, kalalu, turkey, and soup. My mom was like, yes, what, when are we making it? So well, soup is my favorite food. <laughs> I never met a soup that I don't love, and I can cook quite a few types of soup. But this one, I'm going to do my best today for you, Angela. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we can do. We have what came in a can, because again, this is what we can find. It said Jamaican style Kalalu. And there were a few different brands of it, but they all looked pretty much the same. So this is the closest we can find. What we're gonna do is we're gonna blend it. We have our little setup ready to go right here. My mom has been peeling, what do we have here? Potatoes have and... I have dashing, I have yam, and I have tanya. Oh. And some uh, English potato, okay. Irish potato Got for it. this one. She doesn't eat our dashing <laughs> and stuff like that. I like sweet potato. And I'm gonna also steam some sweet potato for the side, on the side. I'm gonna cook a couple of potatoes because she loves sweet potato also. What I have here is the pigtail. I boil it once and I cut off the fat and so and then I boil it a second time. So that I'm gonna add with the turkey and the beef that's in the pot here already. I put like some garlic and some green seasoning in it. Okay, and that's been boiling for a little bit. Yeah. We decided to slow it down yeah. to get the other things ready. Yeah, um, I decided to slow it down because I have a slow dollar also. That's not nice. <laughs> That's not nice at all. <laughs> but I'm glad we can finally get a video film because I know it's been a while and our subscribers have been waiting. And we appreciate your patience, guys. Now I have to put the kalalu in it and water and then add the other uh, stuff when it starts to boil. Okay. All right, let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Getting creamy, you said that's what we're looking for, right? I don't know how it tastes, but it does look like color. It's like a green, green, green bush, and it seems as though it has a, the smell of it like it has a lot of iron in it. Oh. Yeah, that's why it smells like that. Mm. Okay. Okay. We're coming to come, Angela. <laughs> All right, so we're back to the pot that has the smoked turkey, 
pigtail and the seasoned piece of beef, well, pieces of beef. We're gonna, Everything's coming to a boil. We're gonna add this to it now. And this is our color. Hey. It looks like color. Shall we stir? out the pot and to get our sauce nice and soupy yeah. wow look at how that just blended right in there yeah wow okay so what do we do now add some more water let it boil up and then i'll let it cook a little bit more the meat and then we'll add the rest of the stuff in it. Okay. The provision and the, the dumpling. All right, so give it a chance to come to, to a boil. boil. Yes. And so would you say this is Vinci style yeah, soup? That's the Vinci style of soup, the meat, the provision, and the, the only thing I didn't get is the real callaloo. Right. What we call callaloo. Right. But this one, Seems like it's going pretty good. Right. Because okay. I blend it and it got real soupy and it got it. Like got it. Okay. And as a reminder, this is from the perspective of this Vinci family yes. and this Vinci from chef <laughs> and from her mama. Oh. Wow. Starting a bubble bubble. And you can use whatever kind of meats you like, or you can skip the meat altogether. You could add some corn in here, some pumpkin. You could do chicken instead. Anything you wanna put. Only pick to anything, anything. Whatever you like, whatever you can find. Whoa, check out that bubble. The provision, Irish potatoes, and to make it on and then I put them in. Okay. All right, so we are gonna need some extra flavor for the pot. You could use whatever flavors you have. You could use black pepper, garlic salt, or seasoning salt. You can add some mustache, whatever flavors you have or you like. It's all up to you. We're gonna add and no. now this is optional. No. This is a Nora brand vegetable seasoning mix. Optional, but it does add some really nice flavor to it. It has like a couple of little peas in there. Some like carrot flakes. Just a little extra something. Now this wouldn't be necessarily what would happen in St. Vincent, but we're freestyling a little bit. We'll let it boil up and then taste it again. If we need to add some salt or some pepper or what have you, we'll adjust it then. Yeah. This is the flour I need a while ago, just to make some small dumplings, soup dumplings. So what's in this dough here? No, just I put a little bit of salt, some baking powder, and a couple of sugar. And rolling. Along with flour and water. Flour and water, yes. Right. You can make them any shape you want. Sometimes I do round, and sometimes I do long. If you want to make flat, you make flat. But I do combination, long and Long and long. Just roll them. And since they do have baking powder, they, bu they bubble up. Right, they're gonna puff up a bit as they cook. Okay. So they might start off one size and 
double or triple in size depending on how much baking powder you use. And again, you don't have to do all of this if you are not a fan of dumpling or potato or provision or what have you. You can just leave that out. You don't have to add all the things we're adding. We do like variety in our in our soups, but uh, they are very hearty because there's a lot of goodies in there. But you definitely don't have to go this far. Yeah, but we're obviously on, going all in. Depends on the way you eat. Not everybody like all of these. Things. Right. You could keep it simple and only do the dumpling or only do the potato. Depending on what you have, what you can find, what you like. Oh my gosh, look at how the dumpling is just like soaking up that sauciness. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. They're already starting to pump up. Final everything go along and then we have soup. Kalalo soup. Yeah. Do we fine. need more sauce? Huh? Do we need more sauce? No. That's right. When it starts to boil strong, I'll just turn on the stove. If we need, we'll see if we need more, I don't think so. And of course, at this point, you can taste it again. All the meat has been cooked through completely. So if you need a little more flavorings, if you find that it needs a little more salt or pep or whatever. Um, for our pot, of course, the beef had already been seasoned. The pigtails still had a bit of salt left in it from when it had been boiled. The soup mix we just put in there has like salt, pepper, garlic, stuff like that. So that's how we built our flavor, but yeah. definitely add whatever works for you. That's what we're looking like right now. It's a lot of sauce. Yeah, but yeah. it's also a lot of food in the sauce, you know? So some people like their soup more saucy and less hearty. Just depends on your, your preference. Your preference. Okay, so the dumpling is cooked through, so is all of the provision. The meat's been cooked a while now, and we are ready to go. It looks so delicious, oh my gosh. And like I said, we did the most, but you don't have to add these many different types of food if you don't want to. All right, so we got a little sweet potato. Put some sauce in there. A piece of pigtail in there. Dumpling. small piece of beef. Regular potato. And a few more dumplings. And some smoked turkey. All right, and there we have it. So after tasting it, what's the verdict? I think it tastes just like kalalo. We improvise, but I'm not disappointed. Oh my God. <laughs> Delicious. Does it taste like kalalo? Yes. Nice. It tastes like the bomb kalalo soup. Is that a name? <laughs> the bomb kalalo soup? <laughs> That's gonna be the name of this video. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us for this video. We really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely hit the thumbs up button. Also, let us know in the comment section down below what you thought of it. And be sure to subscribe and come back for our future videos.
Next time we're gonna be making something else delicious and we can't wait to see you there. This is what happens in between takes while we're waiting for things to boil. I have to get my kitchen clean. When I finish cooking, nobody knows that I was cooking. Everything has to be. When you clean up as you go, it's not so bad in the end. I always love to cook. I've been cooking since I was a little girl. The first time I cooked my old, my second oldest sister beat me, 10 men that supposed to be around the fire. My mom was so mad because when she came home, she had food to eat. <laughs> So she was mad that you got beat? Yes. <laughs> she said, I have to learn. <laughs> She's like, what you beat her you before know, she cooked? <laughs> all the siblings, their handles be fast sometimes. That's, what, that's my second older sister. Shout out to you. You know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> she likes to eat. Oh, my goodness. Uh, childhood. <laughs> yes. I won't change it for the world. Nothing, nobody could give me anything mm -hmm. to take my childhood away from me because I enjoyed it and I'm still enjoying my life, thank God. Amen.